There's a lot of balance involved in this. Oh, we can edit that. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dr. Aaron Bates. I'm a chiropractor here in Camarillo, and today I'm gonna give you some non-surgical tips on how to prevent back pain for running. Obviously, we're not in the office today. Today we're at the Adolfo Camarillo High School track and field, and we've got coach Johnny Foster who's gonna help us demonstrate. Now, you don't have to be a track coach to do these exercises. But eight out of 10 runners are dealing with some type of injury while running, so this can really benefit you. Now please be cautious. If you already have a pre-existing back injury or some complex problem such as sciatica, you should be consulting with your healthcare professional just to make sure exercise is even appropriate. The people who will benefit most from these exercises are people who are dealing with the repetitive stress and strain from running and are developing a back problem due to the running. The first exercise that we're gonna go over is a modified deadlift. This is going to help open up the low back spinal joints and the discs which can help reduce back pain and strengthen your posterior core. The first exercise we're going to do, we're going to start with our feet outside our hips just like so. And one thing you're going to see is Coach Johnny's knees are slightly flexed. That's the first thing that you're going to do. They're not bent, they're just flexed. Next you're going to notice as we start to lean forward with a perfectly straight back, all of Johnny's weight is actually in his heels and his back is perfectly straight. This ensures that all the cushioning is staying off the joints of the low back and the knees and ankles. Next thing we're gonna do right here is we're gonna actually squeeze the butt muscles right here, pulling the knees out. And what that looks like is your knees are actually gonna pull like this, which is gonna feel like your feet are actually anchoring into the ground, stabilizing your lower extremities. As your back is perfectly straight, all your weight's falling back, and then what we're gonna do is reach our hands out like so, and while you're in this position, you're gonna feel your low back really working hard. From this position, we're gonna bring our hands in and we're gonna do a mini little deadlift, almost like a crunch, but for your low back. So we're gonna go up and down, making sure that our knees are being pulled back the whole time, and we're gonna do 15 to 30 repetitions of this. Your low back will really be burning, but it'll really be warmed up to go on that run. Once we hit 30 of those, or 15, we're gonna drop down and let our straight back collapse, and we're gonna let our hands touch the ground. From this position, we're just gonna hang here, and it's vitally important that your butt is still being squeezed and engaged. The next thing you're gonna do is pull your knees back, and as you pull the knees back, you're gonna really feel the traction of the hamstrings. Remember, this is not a stretch, it's an exercise. It's all about activating and engaging these muscles to prepare to perform. And then we come up with our straight back and then we can reset. And we get, it, it's a little tiring. It'll really get your back warmed up. The second exercise is called a tracking lunge. This is gonna help open up those tight hip flexors that runners are famous for, as well as help the tracking of the patella, which will reduce knee problems, as well as reduce shin splints and improve the arches, reducing issues like plantar fasciitis. On the second exercise, it's really important that from the side when you do this lunge, that your knee does not go past the laces of your foot. Really, you want them right on top of your ankle here. The back leg is perfectly straight, and you're, you're taking a wide step enough so that your heel is actually coming off the ground. So that's really important. You really don't want this heel touching the ground. So straight legs, squared up hips, and your knee is in front of, uh, right on your ankle. Now, there's a lot of balance involved in this exercise. So it's a really important component of keeping your, all your muscles engaged. Once you get into the position of your knees over your ankle, we're gonna actually squeeze our butt. You're gonna see your knee actually open up just outside of your foot. And as we're squeezing our butt, you'll also feel the hip flexor begin to traction. Then we're gonna reach up. You can either do your little yoga point or your reversed interlaces here of your, of your fingers, and you're gonna lean back and slightly away from the back leg. And the reason why we're doing that is we're opening up that hip flexor. And now we're getting a stretch. It's good to do this for about 30 seconds. Now we can begin the exercise, which looks like this. So Coach Johnny is gonna actually begin a toe press. And by doing this, he's completely engaging his quads, completely um, uh, keeping his pelvis stable by squeezing his butt. And with the toe press, he's actually engaging all of his posterior chain, which is one, gonna improve his flexibility, and two, prepare him for, uh, for performance. Switch legs, 
Get into our position of our lunge, straight leg, squeeze our butt, reach to the sky, lean back and away from the hip flexor, and do that for 30 seconds, and then we're gonna do 15 to 30 presses. With the activation that's been created in your posterior chain, your ankles, the tracking in your knees, you're gonna be ready to run. Thank you for watching the video. Please remember this is not a silver bullet or a cure-all for all back pain. Remember that this could really help a lot of people in our community, so don't forget to share this on your timeline. And if you have any questions, don't, don't forget this is an interactive platform. There's a comment section below. I'm happy to answer those for you. Look forward to talking to you soon.